we want to solve the given rational equation. This rational equation can be called a proportion because we have two fractions or ratios equal to each other, which means we could solve this by using cross products, but to be consistent, we will follow the same steps we use to solve any other rational equation. The first step is to identify the values of x that make the denominators equal to zero. Because division by zero is undefined, we must exclude these values. We'll notice negative four makes x plus four equal to zero, and negative one makes x plus one equal to zero. And therefore, we must exclude x equals negative four, as well as x equals negative one. So let's make a note here, x can't equal negative four, or x can't equal negative one. The next step is to identify the least common denominator, or LCD. Once we identify the LCD, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD to clear the fractions from the equation. Well, notice in this case, the LCD is going to be the product of the two denominators. So the LCD is the quantity x plus four times the quantity x plus one. So for the next step, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So on the left side, we'll have the quantity x plus four times the quantity x plus one times two divided by the quantity x plus four equals on the right side, we have the quantity x plus four times the quantity x plus one times negative four divided by the quantity x plus one. And because we have fractions, we can make the LCD a fraction with the denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we will simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. So looking at this product here, notice how x plus four divided by x plus four will simplify to one, leaving us with the quantity x plus one times two. We could also write this as two times the quantity x plus one equals on the right side, notice x plus one divided by x plus one simplifies to one here, leaving us with the quantity x plus four times negative four. Well, if we wanted negative four times the quantity x plus four. And now we clear the parentheses by distributing two here and distributing negative four here. Two times x is two x plus two times one is two equals on the right side, negative four times x is negative four x and then we have negative four times positive four, which is negative 16, giving us minus 16. The next step is to get the x terms on one side of the equation. Let's undo the negative four x by adding four x to both sides. Simplifying, we have six x plus two equals on the right side, negative four x plus four x is zero. We just have negative 16 on the right. The next step is to isolate six x by subtracting two on both sides. Simplifying two minus two is zero, leaving us with six x equals negative 16 minus two is negative 18. Last step is to divide both sides by six to solve for x. Simplifying six divided by six simplifies to one, one times x is x. X equals negative 18 divided by six, which is negative three. Negative three is not one of the excluded values, and therefore x equals negative three is the solution to the rational equation. I hope you found this helpful.